How big is the human genome? Our DNA is made up of chemical units called nucleotides arranged into a double helix. In 1990, biologists embarked on a massive project to sequence the human genome to determine the ordering of these nucleotides. The result was a long series of A's, G's, T's, and C's, the letters used to represent the chemical units of DNA. A complete human genome consists of over 3 billion of these letters. The Human Genome Project took 13 years and cost about $3 billion. But since then, biologists have accumulated even more sequence. Beginning in 2007, new technologies generated vast improvements in the speed of sequencing. Companies such as Applied Biosystems, Selexa, and 454 Life Sciences designed machines that could sequence millions and then billions of nucleotides per day. Now, whole human genomes can be sequenced within hours and at a cost of tens of thousands of dollars, just a fraction of the cost of the Human Genome Project. What is the point of all these letters? What can they tell us about our bodies, or about disease, or about life itself? How can we know what all these letters mean? In the 1990s, as the Human Genome Project proceeded, a new discipline called bioinformatics emerged to deal with these questions. Bioinformatics took the tools of information technology and applied them to biological problems and questions. This meant treating nucleotides as a huge mass of data. DNA data, like other data, needed to be stored, sorted, analyzed, and managed. This required powerful computers, powerful pieces of software, and huge databases. But dealing with data didn't just mean using more computers. It also meant working in large teams, reorganizing biological work, and bringing new sorts of people into laboratories. In the second half of the 20th century, biology was dominated by molecular experimentation. Molecular biologists were usually working in small teams and centered their activities around the lab bench. They extracted molecules from animal and plant cells, manipulated them, copied them, and characterized them. But since the emergence of bioinformatics, much of biology looks quite different. Biologists can work far away from the lab bench, downloading data from databases, manipulating and analyzing it on their computers. This analysis is searching for patterns in the data. Finding out what all the letters of DNA mean requires discovering patterns. Genes are a pattern. Cancer is a pattern. We are a pattern. More and more, biology is about discovering order hidden amongst the apparent disorder of A's, C's, G's, and T's. Studying biology increasingly means trying to understand how life emerges out of sequence.